it's Sam the Old Man here. I'm back and it's hammer time in the Walking Dead our world. And there's a tree that's fallen on the path. Been uh, some pretty big storms here lately. <laughs> Glad I wasn't walking underneath that one. So the event is on to get to our race and we have one week. This is a hard event, it's a gold event. So we have to take down summer infestations that are filled with, um, what do you call it? That are filled with armed walkers. So to get tokens, to get to our race, we need to take down summer infestations. I managed to find one, luckily it spawned. Uh, and if you use Sasha, you get extra tokens when you complete it. Pretty sure that you get five extra tokens when using Sasha. Uh, and then you get a bunch of extra tokens when you finish the infestation. I was gonna take the bus, but in this traffic, I'm walking faster than the bus. Have a look. <laughs> That's my bus, and I'm beating it. In, just in case I didn't know, it's a full screen, flashed up, hammer time. Hammer time. <laughs> yes it is. Someone spent too much time uh, in the 90s. Oh yes, I found a, a epic uh, summer infestation. I'm gonna go get a bit closer, flare it for the group, and let's see how many tokens we get out of that. We're gonna have five fights against this uh, summer infestation. Let me just put uh, Sasha on there. I uh, love the new token as well Telling you that she has some sort of special ability. I think Tough call SMG is what I'm gonna go for here. Oh No, I thought we could go but it's still a red light actually and oh wow, okay I should have known better. It is a summertime infestation. So it's full of armed walkers Fortunately, Sasha is doable. Okay, I'm gonna cross the road. Anyway, the little walking man hasn't gone green, but uh, the light's red, and then the walking man should be green. All right, how many tokens did we pull out of that? We pulled out, uh, whoa, 45 out of that first fight. That's pretty awesome. So let's see how many we get for finishing it. Don't worry. It's still there. There it is, but I'm going to set the flare over here for my group uh, so that we can pick up the epic crate, or not epic crate, or both. There's another epic there. And yes, that one's in range. So this is a pretty awesome flare. Have a look at all the good stuff that uh, people in the group are going to get. And speaking of the group, we have a quick look at the group. Uh, leaders board We loading There we go. We are rank 153 Still not confirmed, but I'm pretty sure we're getting 10 summer tokens per infestation fight Then uh, I'm guessing the rare is going to be 30 tokens and the epic uh, as you've seen with me is 40 tokens and then a solid five extra tokens for using Sasha. That's my guess. After this, I want to find a normal summer infestation that I can just use without Sasha and see how many tokens I get to compare. I'm on top of the infestation now. So let's go ahead and do this final fight and see how many we get for completely clearing the epic infestation. Uh, as far as I can tell, everything I do inside doesn't matter. It just, it is what it is. It's pretty noisy out, I'm assuming you can hear all that in the video. Oh, the beach ball! <laughs> that's a pretty awesome effect. Uh, but that's, that's city living, it's noisy in the city. I'm gonna have to grenade that, I'm probably gonna have to grenade that twice. And please, please, oh no, he's got me! I'm gonna have to do that again. I've wanted to come here to show you this uh, mural for a while, it's pretty awesome. Alright, we're going to change weapons to the SMG to help fight the spiked walker. And we're going to let Sasha take care of the um, 
armed walkers and we'll just see how this goes. Of course I'll start Okay, we're gonna have to grenade. Good thing I got lots of grenades. <laughs> oh, okay, and she's dead. Just grenade all that. I think. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh, yeah, no. Oops. Fail. So for those hider fights, I just I had to go two-handed and concentrate. I had to put the camera down. Uh, so this is the recordings you're seeing. Uh, but I just couldn't get that spiked walker. The spiked walkers seem a lot harder than the rest. A whole bunch of apartment buildings right in here. Definitely on my list of places that I am considering moving to. So Herschel was designed, legendary Herschel, to be effective against the rotten walkers, but with his crippling shot, he's even as a lower power character, he is actually incredibly effective against those uh, higher level spiked walkers. He just slows them right down so you can grenade and shoot them to pieces. It worked. <laughs> what can I say? It worked. Okay then, we got ourselves a level 16 um, summer infestation. So let's take that down without using Sasha, see how many points we get. Well there we have it, it is indeed an extra five tokens that you get from using Sasha and on those normal uh, summer infestations that's a pretty significant extra comparing 10 versus 15. I just got one more to find because I got a theory that if you shoot the beach ball maybe you get extra tokens. something new every day. This year right behind me is an intelligent flood gauge. Tells you how high it might flood. It's taller than me and indicated that the water level might be up here. Well not right now but it could you know when it rains. Well <laughs> walked my way across the uh, the city here and just haven't found any more summer infestations. That's why this is a hard one just there are not many around. So maybe I'll get flared one tonight before I finish editing this video and if I do we'll find out what the beach ball does. If not please drop it in the comments and let me know if the beach ball gives you extra points. <laughs> now Daryl's bike. I actually missed out on the free trial. The, the five coin free trial disappeared before I got a chance to actually accept it and use it. So when those uh, cheap trials are there use them before they're gone. Uh, but you can see from the flares how much extra distance you get, and is it worth it? Uh, well you also get the gold and the extra energy, and I'd say if you have that in your gaming budget and you're playing this game so that you need more energy, yes, it's worth it. Me personally, my gaming budget is next to zero right now, at least until this YouTube channel makes a bit more cash. Uh, so for me, it's outside my budget, and be a responsible gamer and don't spend more than you got. So won't be getting it for now. So the beach ball doesn't get you anything but entertainment value here at the Beach Club Cafe. <laughs> uh, but it is hilarious fun value. Trying to shoot the beach ball as far back as you can. It's actually pretty hard because Sasha keeps getting in the way. You gotta like if you can get it to bounce out you're set. 
uh, snapshot a picture of your screen and show me how far back you can get it on probably Twitter is the best place Facebook or wherever I've got all of my social media down in the comments love to see if you can win how far back your beach ball can go thanks for watching and if you haven't already remember to hit that subscribe button so you can follow me in my adventures have a happy day